Hey, what's up everyone? Henry back here again, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an Amplify JavaScript project. Now, if you didn't know, Amplify is a really cool way that you can integrate AWS backend resources into your project really fast and really easily. Now, I made a tutorial on this a few days ago, but it was in iOS, uh, Swift, but now I'm going to make it in JavaScript because I know there's a lot more people uh, doing uh, JavaScript and um, just online web application development. So you're going to have the best of both sides. You get iOS and JavaScript. So let's get started. Oh, and before we get started, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out and motivates me to make more videos for you guys so we know what topics that you guys want to hear. And that's Amplify, right? Um, I like working in Amplify, so yeah. Given me some likes and uh, subscriptions, I would love that and I would definitely make more videos for you guys. So do that. So let's get started though. So the first, um, before we get started, I just want to kind of let you guys know I'm going to go as fast as I can because I know this video is probably going to go on pretty lengthy. Um, so uh, if I rush through anything, just let me know in the comments below uh, if you guys need additional assistance on anything. So just follow along. So our prerequisites. First thing we want to do is make sure our node.js and npm and git are installed. So all you have to do is go to this link, which I'll include in the description below, and we're just going to click on that and then install it into our computer. Okay, all that's done. Now I'm just, of course, I'm going to skip that. You guys, you can do that on your own time. It's pretty self-explanatory. Goes really fast, right? Next, we want to go to this AWS, AWS link and create an AWS account. That's also self-explanatory. You just make an account really easy. Cool. We're done. Install and configure Amplify CLI. So once we have those dependencies and our modules installed, we just want to go to our command prompt, which you can go, uh, get there by typing CMD in the search bar in your windows. Oh, whoops, my bad. Okay, so once we're in our command prop, we want to actually install Amplify. So we're going to do npm install AWS Amplify CLI. So we're going to do that. Oh, I think I misspelled something probably. npm install. Okay, I just got to put a dash there. Cool. Okay, so yeah, we have that running. This will probably take like less than a minute as long as your internet connection is pretty stable. And then once we're done with that, we want to do Amplify Configure. And this is running in the background, by the way. So once we, we're done with that, we want to do Amplify Configure. And that's because Amplify Configure, it allows you to link that AWS account you just created with the actual Amplify um, kind of module thing inside your computer so then those those things those two things can link and then when you create new projects uh, it'll be linked up i'm not going to take you through amplify configure because it's pretty self-explanatory as well you just walk through the steps and just do everything it asks you and if you need additional help on configuring your amplify there's a video right here in the link that i'm going to include in the description below there's a link that you can follow and helps you make that so and all you do, all you do is just run amplify configure that in here but I'm not gonna do that so let's move on because I know the rest of this video will probably get really long so that's just the first part that's the first page here we're just configuring everything done deal done so let's go to set up a full stack project now a few things you want to know here uh, running these commands right here I would typically just run these and then you know it works everyone's happy but um, with my experience me trying to run these they don't work for example I'll show you I ran these and then it says the syntax is incorrect so I'm just gonna you know make my own commands and you guys can follow along so um, we'll have that done well, we'll make commands that basically just do exactly the same thing so these commands actually um, all, of, all of this does is it just creates this stuff and this directory is just like, you know, this is a folder that you create, and then this is a file, this is a file, this is a folder with this file inside, and then we have this file on this outside folder as well. That's that's really all we want to do, honestly. Um, that's all these commands do. So you can do that if you go to like your file explorer, you can do that on your own just by like right clicking new folder. I'm just going to do in the command prompt and you guys can follow along as well if you'd like. So what we want to do is navigate in our command prompt to the place we want to throw our uh, new project in. So I'm just going to go to my documents and then I have a folder called projects right there. And I'm just going to throw it into my projects folder. You guys can throw it in any folder you want. doesn't matter. I'm just putting my projects folder. 
So what we want to do to first create this first part of the hierarchy is make dir amplify dot j uh, not j uh, not dot dash js dot dash app. Cool. So that directory is now created, and then we want to cd, which is change directory, into that project that we just made. And if we do dir, we can see that there's nothing in there. Now we want to throw these files in there, and to do that, all we have to do is touch and then space the name of the file, which is going to be index.html. Then we want to touch a new file called package.json and then touch webpack.config.js. Good there. You don't want to touch source because that's a folder and we want to use make dir again with that. So if we do dir one more time, we can see that we have created this outside hierarchy of all these files. Cool. We still have yet to make this app.js, so let's go ahead and cd into our source and then just touch app.js. So we've created all these files, we're done. And all these files are empty right now, they have nothing in them, they're just blank empty files. And now we just want to fill them up with the content that's going to allow us to make our app. And Amplify provides us with, provides us with that content. So all we want to do is just copy and then we want to go over here and we want to open those files up and to open the files up so the one we're looking for is package.json want to go to package.json and put those in these little uh, qu quotation marks and then you know it'll open the file for you directly if you have a code editor now i'm using visual studio code here um, you guys can definitely download that i love visual studio code that's the one i use but you can use any code editor as well but that's not the point of this video so let's continue on so i copied all this code for package.json i'm in package.json so i'm going to paste that in with uh, Control v and then we're just going to save it with Control s so we're good there and then um, next it says that we want to do npm install we want to do npm install so we're just going to run that in there and it's probably just going to add uh, a bunch of files in there for us that will allow us to create our application and that won't take too long either we'll just let that run and while we're there let's copy this code for our index.html and this is a very stereotypical classic index.html file you can definitely just make your own index.html file if you want but this is just the one Amazon provides us as a template so we're good there didn't take that long let's go ahead and open our index.html and actually that's not gonna work we're gonna have to go into our visual studio code and then open file here and our index.html and then let's just paste that code in there and we're good so control s to save and then we want to add this to our webpack config.js so let's go there and then just open that up webpack config.js paste it straight in there cop commit control save control s right and then we're good let's do our npm start there we go and that should work and create our entire project as you can see it says compiled successfully so we're good there and then theoretically if we go to localhost 8080 our application is now running yeah so we're good we have initialized the amplify framework into our uh, project here so we're good there now I'm going to take you a little bit step farther and then just show you how the API works a little bit as well so let's get started there hey thanks for watching so much guys make sure you watch part two like comment and subscribe and we'll make more videos about amplify so you can get your project up and running thank you so much guys click and watch part two